never fails. I always lose some. So the stand is all but empty. I got one $60 rack left and that's it. No bags, I gotta make bags. So sales went up this week, obviously. Um, it's mostly sold in a week for a long time. Um, all the bags I made before I went to West Virginia, they're gone. The last one sold yesterday, so I'm gonna have to make some bags up. But I don't know uh, what pe some people are doing, but it was raining all day yesterday and I sold a good bit of wood yesterday. So I don't know if people are just getting ready for the cold weather to come and maybe use some wood as a little bit of a supplemental heat or what exactly is going on. But sales are up and normally this time of the year my sales are down because I sell for recreational use only really I mean I keep it stocked throughout the winter I do get some sales but uh, not as much as through the spring summer and fall now this year my sales are down I'm not sure exactly why. I haven't changed my prices or anything. I don't know if it's because of the economy. People are pinching their pennies or what's going on, but it is what it is. No complaints here. This isn't my full-time job or anything, so I sell for a hobby. You know what I mean? I burn wood personally to heat my house and I sell some on the side. I don't know if I would ever want to uh, do this full time, but I don't think it's too bad of a gig. You know what I mean? If I were to do this full time, I'd obviously have a lot more inventory. But as of right now, going into next year, my inventory is looking good for next year's selling throughout the spring, summer, and fall. So I'm gonna build on that a little bit and go from there. We'll call that one good. So some of you guys probably have been wondering where I've been. Um, I've been doing a lot of hunting, but I also had a change in my household. Uh, my mother has moved in with me um, since my father passed away here in uh, April. She's been living in a fairly large house by herself uh, she can't do steps very good anymore so I told her just to move in with me which has been a little adjustment for both of us you know what I mean so that's been going on plus honey uh, West Virginia trip went well I think I'll have a video ready for that. You'll probably see that before this video. It's just going to be a little short highlight video, basically. Didn't do much filming while hunting. I told the guys to get some footage while they were out in the field. So that's what they did. And I'm going to throw something together. 
I use that video just basically for a remembrance uh, of the event for me and the guys. I'm going to get it to back into splitting. Still have this sycamore to go through. Not sure if I'm keeping it yet or not. I might split it and take it to my boiler buddy. He'll probably get me a case of beer or so, which that's fine. But uh, yeah, so that's what's been going on here at the outside of Shibe headquarters, I guess you call it. This is some really nice oak. Starting to get into the stuff that I split with the Easton made back when I first got it. So that's how long this stuff has been seasoned. Not very long, but it is dry and burning well. No complaints. So, I mean, that's, it's almost been a year. So not too terrible. This stuff was dead standing when I, or I guess dead off the ground, not necessarily standing. This is stuff I got from the roadside. So, ready to get back into those videos. I haven't really been down to see if there's any new trees that came down, but some of the stuff that I've been looking at, I'm gonna need that winch to get. If you don't know, if you don't know what winch I'm talking about, it's the PCW 4000. Very nice winch. It's a port portable winch company. Does very well. For the little bit that I used it. I did take it to West Virginia. In case uh, we wanted to try skinning deer with it. But we decided not to. We didn't get that many. So we weren't in a time constraint to... Uh, Get the deer skinned up. Let me get these bins done and see what we got left. I'll be right back. Very good. Very good. I don't know. It's gonna be close. This, I'm gonna have to grab a couple more pieces, but let's time lapse this and see how it goes. Looks like I'm a little short. Not much, probably six or eight pieces. Not terrible. Not terrible at all, that's pretty good. This is roughly 20 to 21 cubic feet. And each one of those bends is eight cubic feet. Maybe a little more. So, what is that, 24? You're looking at half a cord, or yeah. You're looking at one face cord in the back of this gator. That's pretty damn nice. Now it was heaped up, but uh, worked out pretty well. So let's go back over, I'll talk about my bundles and a little dilemma that I'm coming up into. So meet me back over there. We'll do some moisture testing also. Okay guys, this is the moisture meter I'll be using today. It's by Top Test. A lot of guys have gotten these from the company. Uh, Everybody seems to like it. Has an LCD screen, has a green, orange, and red indicator for 
your moisture meter it also tells you the moisture so let's turn this sucker on okay I need to be on mode B because that's for oak and this is mostly oak it reads a bunch of material between anything from wood cement and brick well I was saying it has a green for low orange for in between and a red for wet so we'll uh, test a bunch of these pieces here and see what exactly we're at like I said these were split sometime last January so just about a year and it's been it was dead suspended not necessarily standing this is stuff I got from the roadside here's a nice piece we'll test the outside first and then we'll split it open looking at 14 percent 14.2 right around 14. so we'll split that one open and see where we're at looks like somebody might be stopping in for some wood all right feels dry still at 14.8 14.5 so good for bundles let's get another piece out here we'll test that let's go for a bigger piece here this is a bigger piece so the outside it's pretty much the same 14.6 14.5 split this sucker open darker color there it feels a little moisture in there it's like 22 it's not terrible that's a thicker piece 23 now I do sell recreationally so anything under 25 I'm good with well there you go there's the top test moisture meter. I have two of these to give away for the 10K giveaway. So be on the lookout for that giveaway. Like I said, I'm still waiting on some parts for an item that I'm also going to be giving away. It's a big ticket item, so it's going to be pretty nice for one of you guys to win. Um, I got a bunch of other stuff, some steel hats, some hand warmers, uh, probably do some shirts. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, again, hopefully you enjoyed the little West Virginia highlight video. I have an event coming up down there in near York, Pennsylvania with York Firewood. Uh, splitting some firewood for an organization called Hope. Um, so... Probably put a little video together down there maybe go live we'll see how it goes so that's the 8th of december so looking forward into doing that it's definitely for a good cause uh it's gonna be awesome apparently there's 20 cords to split anyway guys that's all i have for this one so if you like this kind of stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment down below tell one of your friends i'll catch you in the next one